morning my dear students how are you today wish you are fine or listen about bar graphs what is the meaning of bar graph it is a chart uses parts to show data what is the meaning of data data means information the parts of bar graph the first part is yes title it tells what data is about title means the name of paragraph like our paragraph its name is favorite pets okay the second the second part is per per it shows how many how much data have been collected it shows how much data have been collected okay the third vertical side vertical side like column we move up and down okay the fourth horizontal side horizontal side like row we move left and right okay and every bar graph has two sides each side has a label label means name also okay so the name or label for for vertical side is number of students and the name or label for horizontal side is type of pet okay the fifth is called scale a scale uh, a scale then uh, a scale is the numbers in one side of bar graph okay the scale may be on vertical side or horizontal side Okay, this is page one. Listen to work with your teacher to create a graph, then answer questions about that data. Okay, from bar graph, from this bar graph, we will write the title. Bar graph about days of the week, so the title will be favorite day of the week. Okay, we collect the data and we found that. In this bar, we have two sides, vertical side and horizontal side. Vertical side has label or name. Its, uh, its name is number of students. And horizontal side has label or name. Its name is date of the week. Okay, number of students in Sunday is 10. And number of students in Monday is 12. And number of students in Tuesday is yes five and number of students in Wednesday is two and in Thursday is twelve and Friday is fifteen and in Saturday is eleven. Okay. My favorite day of the week is my favorite day is Thursday. But you can write any day. You will love it. Okay. Our class's favorite day of the week is what is the highest bar? The highest bar is Friday. So we will write Friday. Okay. Listen to math journal. Reflect on your learning. Write or draw three things you note about the class bar graph. The first one is Friday is the most favorite day of the week for the class. Okay. The second one is Monday equals Thursday. Okay. Number three, Wednesday is less than Sunday. Okay, page three. Use the favorite day of the week graphs to answer the questions from the previous bar graph. We and we will answer these questions. How many students like Tuesday best? Look at the bar graph 
and how many students in Tuesday? Yes, five. So you write number five. How many students like Friday best? Yes, fifteen. Okay, how many students in Tuesday? Look at the bar and search about Tuesday. Yet Tuesday is five students. So we will write number five. And in Friday is fifteen. Five and fifteen, which is bigger. Yes, fifteen. So the sign is called less than. Okay. How many students in in Monday? Monday twelve. So write number twelve. And Friday is fifteen. Twelve and fifteen, which is bigger. Yes, fifteen. So the sign is less than. Okay. Number of students in Tuesday is five. And Thursday is 12. 5 and 12. The sign is less than. Okay, number of students in Sunday is 10. And Wednesday is 2. Which is bigger? Yes, 10. So the sign is greater than. Okay. Number of students in Saturday is, yes, 11. And Sunday is, yes, 10. Which is bigger? Yes, 11. So, the sign is greater than. This ascending order, starting with A, like and. Okay, and it's very, very small. So, ascending order, starting from least to greatest, or from small to big. Okay, and this descending order, starting with D, like dinosaur. Dinosaur is very, very big. So, in descending order, we're starting from big to small or from greatest to least okay page four work with your teacher to complete the graph okay the title of this paragraph is siblings in our family siblings mean brothers and sisters okay this bar graph has two sides Vertical side and horizontal side. Okay, vertical side, its name or label is number of students. And horizontal side, its name or label is types of siblings. Okay, we collect the data and we found that. Okay, look at page 5. Record the class data in the session below okay how many students have no siblings look at bar graph no siblings is three students so we will write number three okay how many students have only sisters okay look at bar graph only sisters is okay five students so we will write we will write five okay how many students have only brothers okay look at bar graph only brothers is four so we will write number number four okay how many students have or have both brothers and sisters Brothers and sisters is seven students. Okay, list the class data from least to greatest. Okay, least to greatest. 
Okay, this ascending order, yes, ascending order from small to big, like and is very, very, very small. Okay, the smallest number or least number is three after three, four after four, five after five, six, seven, sorry, seven. Six. Reflect on your learning, write or draw something you learned or noticed about today's bar graph. For example, which category had the most votes? Which category were you in? Did your category have a lot of students or a few? The first point, both brothers and sisters had the most votes. Number two, I belong to the only sisters. Number three, yes, my category have a lot of students. Addition keywords. Some and all, all together total. Some and all, all together total. Subtraction keywords. How many more than? Difference left. How many less than? How many more than? Difference left. How many less than? Seven. Look at the favorite fruit graph and then answer questions about the data. Okay, this bar graph. Its title is favorite fruit. Okay. How many apples? Let's count five and three oranges and seven bananas and nine strawberries and five kiwis and two pears. Okay, question number one. How many more people like strawberries than pears? Okay, first we will catch the keyword. How many more than is the keyword? The keyword of what? That the keyword of subtraction. So we will use subtraction. Okay, strawberries. How many strawberries? Nine. Okay, how many pairs? Yes, two. So it's important to write the biggest number in the first. So we will write nine minus two equal equals seven okay we'll count from small to big after two three four five six seven eight nine so how many fingers yes seven so we will write number seven number two how many people all together like kiwis and apples and oranges okay first we will catch the keyword how uh, sorry all together is the keyword of what of addition so we will use addition okay kiwis is five kiwis plus five apples plus three three oranges okay we will count the first numbers, the first two numbers together. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 10 plus 3, so 10 in my mind, 3 on my fingers, after 10, 11, 12, 13. So, you will write 13. Okay, number 3. How many more people like strippers than oranges? First, we will catch the keyword. The keyword here is how many more than? How many more than is the keyword of what? Of subtraction. So, we will use subtraction here. Okay, strippers. 
nine strawberries and and um, three oranges don't forget to write the biggest number in the first okay so we will write nine minus three count from small to big after three four five six seven eight nine stop how many fingers yes six okay number four how many people in all liked apples bananas and pears okay first we'll catch the keyword okay the keyword here is in all in all is a keyword of what of yes of addition so we will use addition okay five apples plus seven bananas plus two pears so the answer is 40 okay number five how many peoples in total shared which fruit they liked best okay we will catch the keyword okay the keyword here is total in total okay in total is a keyword of what yes of addition so we will use addition okay we will count all fruits five plus three plus seven plus nine plus five plus two we will count every two numbers together each two numbers together okay so the answer is 31 or the sum is 31 of a scale we can count by one two five ten and so on okay this rabbit escape jumping to get the carrot okay this rabbit will jump one so count by one zero after zero count by one one two three four five okay and so on count by two okay jump two after zero yes two four six eight and ten okay count by five zero five ten eleven fifteen uh, uh, twenty twenty five count by ten yes zero ten twenty thirty forty fifty and so on Look at the favorite fruit to graph and then answer questions about the data. This bar graph, its title is favorite fruit to. Okay, vertical side, its name or label is number of students. And horizontal side, or its, its name or label is fruits. Okay, we will count and write the number. 20 students like apples and 10 students liked dates and 4 students liked bananas and 12 students liked melon and 6 students liked others question number one how many students liked apples best look at the graph the bar graph yes 20 how many students liked Students liked dates best, yes, 10. Which fruit is liked the, the least? Where is the least bar? The least bar is bananas. Which two fruits did people like the best? Where is the highest two bar? The highest two bar? The highest two bars is apples and melon. How many people liked some other kind of fruit that was not listed? Yes, six. Number six, question number six. How many more students liked apples than dates? Okay, first we will catch the keyword. The keyword here is how many more than? 
is the keyword of subtraction. Okay. The apple says 20 and dates is 10. So don't forget to write the biggest number in the first. So we will write 20 minus 10 equal, equals 10. Okay, page 9. Reflect on your learning. Did you prefer working with the graph with a scale of 1 or working with the graph with a scale of 2 or did it not matter to you write or drew a picture to show your thinking and explain why yes i prefer working with the graph with a scale one because it is very easy okay page number 10 look at the favorite colors graph and then answer question questions about the data okay this paragraph first we will count and write the number how many students liked uh, red color 20 and blue color 60 green color 10 yellow color 30 orange color 50 30 and 30 for pink question number one how many people liked red pests yes 20 how many people liked blue pest yes 60 look at the bar graph how many people liked green best yes 10 how many people like yellow best yes 30 how many people liked orange best yes 50 how many people liked pink best? 30. Great. How many people liked pink and blue? Okay. Pink and blue. Pink is 30. Blue is 60. 30 plus 60 equals 90. Okay. Number 8. How many more people liked Yellow, then green, yellow, minus green. First, we'll catch the keyword, the keyword here. How many more than? It's a keyword of subtraction. Yellow is 30 and green is, is 10. Don't forget to write the biggest number in the first. So, we will write 30 minus 10 equal 20. Okay, question number 9. How many people? like the red and blue red plus blue red is 20 plus blue is 60 okay so 20 plus 60 equals 80 count by 10 so 60 in my mind and 20 in on my fingers count by 10 after 60 70 80 so the, the sum is 80 How, question number 10 how many more people like blue than orange? Okay, first we will catch the keyword. The keyword here, how many more than? The keyword of subtraction. Okay, blue. How many in blue? How many students like blue? Uh, yes, yeah, 60. 60 minus orange is what? It's 50. 60 minus 50. Okay. Don't forget to write the biggest number in the first. So 60 minus 50 equals 10. Pictographs. What is the meaning of pictograph? From its name, it is a graph that uses pictures to show data. Okay, here we convert pictures, graph, pictures, graph. Okay, in this big to graph, we have title and key. Every big to graph has a key. Okay, the key tells tell us what each picture on this graph represents. Okay, 
look at pictograph the keyword here is smiley face smiley face means one child one child okay uh, let's count in uh, apple how many smiley face smiley face means one child so count with me one two three four five in banana how many how many smiley face one two three four five six seven okay in strawberry how many smiley face one two three okay don't forget one smiley face means one child don't forget okay pear how many smiley face okay we have two smiley face okay in grapes how many smiley face one two three four five so for four sorry so right number four and don't forget uh, that smiley face means one child okay look at the pick a flower pictograph and then answer the questions below uh, in this pictograph its title is pick a flower and its key is have flower equals one flower and the whole flower equals two flowers again have flower equals one flower and the whole flower equals two flowers okay let's count the flowers in monday equals 20 and in tuesday equals 8 2 4 6 and 8 okay in wednesday the whole flower equals two flowers and the half flower equals one flower so two plus two plus one equals five okay and thursday the whole flower equals two flowers so how many flowers in thursday 28 okay in friday have flower equals one flower and the whole flower equals two flowers okay don't forget the key okay so how many flowers in friday yes nine question number one how many flowers were picked on friday yes 18 okay Question number two, how many flowers were picked on Thursday? Thursday, look at pictograph. Thursday, yes, 28. Okay, number three, did any two days have the same number of flowers picked? Mm, no. Okay, question number four, how many flowers were picked? on Monday and Tuesday together 18 plus 8 equal 26 okay number 5 which day had the least number of flowers picked okay where is the smallest number in each day yes Wednesday Wednesday question number six which day had the most number of flowers picked okay which day which day sorry which day Thursday okay question number seven how many more flowers were picked on Thursday than Wednesday first we will catch the keyword of the keyword the keyword here is how many more than this keyword of subtraction 
So we will use subtraction. Okay? How many flowers in Thursday? 28 minus, uh, minus 5 in Wednesday. Don't forget to write the biggest number in the first. So 28 minus 5 equals 23. Okay, question number 8. How many flowers were picked on Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? Okay, in Monday, 18 plus 8 plus 5 in Tuesday and Wednesday. So the sum is 31. Okay, page 13. Reflect on your learning, then write at least one thing you learned about pictographs today. Something I learned about pictographs today is pictograph uses pictures to show data in a graph. Okay, page 14. Use the data from the pic, a flower pictograph, to create a bar graph. Okay? Look at the pictograph to do the bar graph. Okay? First, we will uh, make the title. The title is Pick a Flower. Okay, and make right on the box, inside the box of title. Then we will write the horizontal, the horizontal side, the horizontal side is what days of the week. Then we will write the vertical side the vertical side is number of flowers and make a check on horizontal label and in vertical label okay then we will write the scale and make a check Okay, on the scale, then we will collect the data, Monday, how many flowers, yes, 18, Tuesday, how many flowers, yes, 8, and on Wednesday, how many flowers, yes, 5, okay, and Thursday and Friday are homework, okay, good morning, my dear students, bye-bye.